I think Rakul and I really vibed on having a very similar style. I don't think every uh, artist that you work with really is inclined towards knowing, loving fashion. Pragya is somebody, and even Neha for that matter, they both really like to know their brands. I mean, it looks so glamorous on the outside, but when you're styling somebody else, it's a different ball game altogether. And there's too much that goes behind uh, the scenes. Hi and welcome to BTS Stars. Joining us today, we have a stylist, Anshika Verma. Hi. Hi. So she's worked majorly with Rakul Preet Singh, but also style stars like uh, Pragya Jaiswal, Neha Dhupia, and so many others. So Anshika, please tell us about your journey. How did it start? Firstly, were you always interested in fashion? I was always into buying clothes and really being inclined towards just finding new things for myself growing up. Uh, but I don't think I'd always wanted to be a stylist. I feel like back in the day when we were in school, I didn't even know that I could be a stylist or there was a career uh, choice that was to be a stylist. I'd call it a unique journey because uh, it wasn't the conventional route to being a stylist. Uh, I am from Delhi. I moved to Bombay when I was 18 to do college. I think while I was doing my undergrad is when I really uh, felt my inclination towards fashion. I realized that this is something I'm very passionate about and, uh, and that I want to know more before I dive into doing a job. Uh, I wanted to understand what fashion was to begin with and what was my personal style because that was something that I never really understood back in the day and today also I feel like it is a work in progress and then I went on to do my masters in fashion because I wanted to know more about it and I wanted to know the history of fashion I uh, wanted to know the global brands and and how it works in uh, different markets you know when it comes to fashion so I went and I studied in Paris uh, and once I got back is when I started working and I wanted to come back to Bombay. So I had to do a job and I wasn't ready to kind of take that uh, jump and just freelance because, well, we have bills to pay. So I was like, okay, I have to do a job uh, that gives me that salary on every first of the month. So I went on to work with uh, a couple of designers, I worked in fashion PR, I worked at Gucci for some time and I think my last job was the most interesting one because he knew that I came from a fashion background when he hired me uh, and I worked at Big Bang Music and I helped shape artist personas so it was like styling an image uh, entirely like a 360 degree image of an artist which included clothes, the way she should look, the way she should walk, talk, communicate on her social media and so on and so forth. So that was my last job and while I was doing that because I worked on music videos, I was styling music videos and hiring the right stylist for my artist, I took that leap of faith in myself finally because I was like here I'm signing invi invoices off for other stylists like I just want to do this for myself for sure now like if not now then I don't know if I'll ever take that chance again on myself and the best part is I think in between different jobs I always got a styling gig okay. so I even like a month that was in between jobs and I wasn't getting a salary I worked two days of shoot and I would make that salary amount yeah. um, so I worked with a couple of designers doing brand campaigns at that time. I worked with Neeta Lula for a campaign. I worked with Narendra Kumar, Shaila Khan. So I worked with a bunch of designers uh, in between jobs. And I did it because I enjoyed it so much that I was like, you know, I know that maybe this is something I can't actually do huh. for the rest of my life because I have to have a job with stability. But I can do it in between jobs. So I would take up that gig and and just do it and finally I think I had the courage to quit and to tell myself that I'm going to give myself a year 
and uh, and if it doesn't work out then i'll go back to doing a job well i think it's worked out pretty okay so far i think i'm more more than grateful for the opportunities that have come my way and when i did quit it was uh march of 2020 uh and covid hit us yes. so there was no styling work so i started doing social media in fashion for uh different uh, brands uh just to again make sure that i'm getting the money to pay my bills once things started opening up a little bit i did some ads i worked with some stylists and then i was going to work on a film huh. actually okay. and that film had rakul in it the film was thank god okay uh, which is now which It's has now nice. released yeah. and i was going to be working on it as a costume assistant mm-hmm. and i think the stylist that i was assisting backed out uh, so i couldn't do it anymore and then uh, and rakul knew that so uh, one day she reached out to me and said you know uh, i saw this story uh, of another stylist who'd put up a hiring job and it was so so kind of her to message me it was an unknown number that messaged me i still remember and she said that would you like to assist because this girl styles me and i can you know maybe you should go and talk to her and assist her and i went and i did that meeting and uh, that i got but i got much later that i just asked rakul you know i'd love to put a couple of looks together for you okay. uh whenever you're free and if you have the time even if it's like an airport look or just out and about in the city i'd love to just start with that mm-hmm. and uh, and she said okay why don't you send me some references i sent her those references she liked them and i went i did my fittings and she said okay so how do you want to do this okay and that's how i think everything started that's how i started styling rakul and i am very grateful for uh for that opportunity and for the confidence that it gave me to be able to do my own thing uh because in this i feel like when you're you're working very hard for those few days and then when the results come out it is so rewarding yeah. uh financially and i think emotionally it's very rewarding because you've put in so much work and it's like your baby True. entirely so uh so that it's nice it's been 2 years with rakul now yeah. so how have you seen her style evolving and the changes you know i think rakul and i really vibed on having a very similar style uh in terms of like just our personal style everyday style would be like a nice baggy denim with a crop top mm-hmm. and just you know put on a pair of shades and with a bag and sneakers always and just leave the house yes it's evolved so much in the last two years there are so many things that i've seen her do now that i haven't seen her do in the previous years she is now more open to doing uh different things and wa- she wants to try new things now which is always fun for me and are there any things that you know are big no no for her like something she doesn't like in terms of style and fashion i think fabrics particular fabrics like uh if a fabric is too rough on the skin or like a thick satin is something that she doesn't quite like the texture and the way it looks that sheen that it actually has she doesn't like that too much she didn't want to do frills ever in sarees uh, or in dupattas you know how we see yeah, like yeah. a frill uh she w- never wanted to do that till we've still not done it yet okay. uh, but i tried something on her very recently and and i was like you know i know you don't like frills but i just really liked the piece and i wanted to try it on you and we tried it and she really liked it okay. it's just so that some of our promotion dates uh, got cancelled so we couldn't put it on her but now it's something that at least uh, she is now open to doing which she has not been open to doing for the last two years so uh, so i'm really excited about doing that now and you're also doing a film together chatri wali it was my first film with her and uh, it was an amazing experience it was my first film uh, styling the lead i am still waiting to see the outcome 
but I think it was so interesting to get to know a character and then you know get the clothes bases who that person is instead of who Rakul is mm. uh, so that was interesting for me uh, and uh, and it was such an experience just you know eating living breathing sleeping with the crew for 45 days straight uh, it's something that I'd only experienced uh, once before when I'd assisted on a film and that was uh, back in college. Okay. Only thing is I feel even with films you still have to keep in mind uh, her tastes. Yeah. Of course like you have to uh, style the person according to the character and the personality of the character in the film mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time you have to also keep in mind certain fabrics that she doesn't like wearing or certain silhouettes that wouldn't that you know we wouldn't want to put on her. So yeah, I mean, those are things that you can't completely ignore even if you're styling the character. And uh, Neha Dhupia is another actor who's really experimental. So what was it working with her like? It was amazing working with Neha. She's so fun. Uh, and you know she will be very straightforward with you of what she likes, what she doesn't like. I think she herself is so creative mm. when it comes to her style. Yeah. Uh, like she likes to mix and match different things and, and also mix and match things that otherwise you know you wouldn't mix and match. Like mm. she's very experimental like that. I think the way she accessorizes herself is also fab. I'm always looking forward to uh, working with her. I did a magazine shoot with her. She really appreciated the hard work and I remember when she entered she saw all of that jewelry that you know the hundred options that I always like to go prepared with because you never know uh, what can happen yeah. on shoot so you have to be prepared and also like even in terms of jewelry I like to take those hundred options because it gives me that bandwidth to if I last minute get it another idea then I have what I need to it to implement it she entered and she was like you know wow like I love the jewelry and uh, and there was a rack of all these clothes and she was just like wow that's a lot of options and I'm uh, you worked really hard <laughs> and it, it's showing uh, so she was super excited to kind of work together and even after that we did one or two looks together I styled her for an award function as well recently. It was a red carpet look and it was an all white uh, look that was custom made and we got it done by Benu Segal who's a designer in Bombay. Uh, and the silhouette was just so relaxed. Uh, that's the thing, I feel like she doesn't uh, uh, refrain from experimenting with silu oversized silhouettes as well, yeah. uh, which is a lot of fun for me uh, so that was really nice and still so relaxed like it wasn't structured at all okay. it was like a pantsuit of sorts it was a jumpsuit uh, that had a trail as well and we decided to go with absolutely no jewelry except like a few rings um, like two three rings on her fingers we decided to keep everything else clean uh, because we just wanted to be a very minimal classic look with a twist. And is Pragya really particular about her style as well or is she experimental? Pragya is also experimental. Uh, she's a girly girl so she loves to go with feminine silhouettes. Pragya also loves to accessorize. Uh, she's big on earrings so sometimes like recently I put a choker something like this on her as well and and she was like you know I'm feeling a little odd that I have no earrings uh, on and I just have this necklace because she's so used to always wearing earrings but it was such a refreshing change to see her go bare uh, on her ears and do a choker instead. I don't think every uh, artist that you work with really is inclined towards knowing, loving fashion. Pragya is somebody and even Neha for that matter, they both really like to know their brands. They know what they are wearing and 
and they're always keen on knowing different designers, new designers, new silhouettes. So that's nice. Any advice for upcoming stylists that you would like to offer from your experience? I think you have to really, really be hardworking to be able to sustain. I mean, it looks so glamorous on the outside. So, so many people want to, you know, are like, okay, we love fashion and we love to style ourselves and, you know, wear clothes in different ways and all of that. But when you're styling somebody else, it's a different ball game altogether. And there's too much that goes behind uh, the scenes because you're literally first you get to know the person, then you're referencing to make sure that you're on the same page with your artist. Then you're always on a hunt for new collections, new designers, what new can we constantly do. And then once you like those clothes, you make your selections, then some things are available, not available. So then you tend to get what is available. Sometimes you are also in a position where so many things that you want are not available. And, and then you can't source those things. So you need to also learn to work with what you have and what best can you do with what is available for you to get. Sometimes there are last minute gigs. So, you know, you should just be creative and I think it's very, very important to have presence of mind uh, with a, a career like this because you will have to think on your toes and come up with solutions because things will go wrong yeah. at the very last minute many times. One of the most important things, again, is to be organized. If you are not organized and if you don't uh, have systems in place for yourself, then it can be very messy and you will end up uh, you know making more mistakes then because you will forget certain things because there's just too much to do in one goal you have to be great multitaskers but I think all in all very very important to really really love it because uh, if you don't love it it's going to be very hard to keep uh, going because it, there are times it's very hard And let's look at your top five looks for Akul, if you could break them down for us. Yeah, sure. Can I show them to you on my phone? So this is uh, one look that uh, we styled recently um, for a red carpet and uh, super chic, super neat. That was the idea and uh, the belt I think adds a little bit of edge to the entire look and the diamond earrings like it's classic. And she pulled it off so well with that sleek hair and the red lipstick with the, with the cat suit. I think it was one of my favorite looks for sure. So my second look would be this sari that we did on her uh, with these statement earrings. It's a sari. It's pista in color and it had beautiful hand painted cherry red flowers on it. Tube blouse. Uh, that we, we tied at the back. So it was just a super young silhouette to do with just those statement earrings and these kolapuris that we paired it with uh, on her feet. I think she just looked so classic, but at the same time, pretty, very graceful. It was definitely one of my favorite Indian looks that I've ever done on her because I always believe in less is more. I have a very minimal style. Uh, which is something that I'm also experimenting with yeah. myself now. But it was just a less is more pretty young sari that that she pulled off so well. My third look would be this look. Uh, it's a Gaurav Gupta a quad set. This was my first ever red carpet look with Rakul. It was for Business Summit Awards and it was just perfect for the occasion. Uh, it was super classy but had so much uh, edge to it with the way, with the structure of the top uh, and, and again she pulled it off so well. We gave her diamond earrings with it and kept her hair a little unkempt. We kept it in a low bun but we still tried to keep it as unkempt as possible. This was a recent look also that she did for Diwali. Um, it was a gopi with a 
lehenga uh, that we decided to ditch the dupatta for uh, it had really cute tassels on it and it was backless so it was like a mix of cute and hot uh, that we were going for the print was very young and vibrant and i think the best part about this look was the hair because we did do a completely new hair uh, do we went really short uh, because we wanted the back to be uh, the statement uh, of the look and obviously the hair it, she just looked so young her earrings really lifted the entire outfit up so beautifully last one i'd say it's this a shoot that we did for a magazine we used a swimsuit as a top okay. and it was a full plunge swimsuit magazine's vibe was also very travel resort you know wellness um so we wanted to do something that was different but still aligned with their values uh, so we did the swimsuit which went like which was this deep with this brinda sneha uh, skirt that was just so fluffy and you know vibrant the color yellow uh was exquisite like it was it the entire look looked so nice i gave her a statement choker uh on her hand and drop necklaces because the neckline was so deep uh that it was really nice to have those necklaces come and it gave a very uh cool but resorty vibe so i was actually uh looking forward to seeing her in these bright colors and it turned out so well and that's so true accessories can really make or break a look absolutely so is that something you're very particular about i am well? very very passionate about accessorizing because it definitely can make or break your look and sometimes you also don't need it huh. and you need to know yeah like the the whole thing is to really just try out different things and uh, and to see that okay is this going to work is this not going to work and sometimes you have a vision and you're like okay maybe like this is the vision and i want to go like heavy on earrings or i want to go heavy on the neck but then when you try it it doesn't really work uh, and you'd rather do without it fittings is one of the most important part of our job because it's so important to get all those clothes and that jewelry and put things together and try everything together to see what is working and what is not working but at the same time never uh, being afraid to still visualize different things and and keep trying them on because otherwise you'd just be playing safe all the time so is that something you learned with time like you know something seems really good in your head but it doesn't really seem that way on yeah, yeah, in reality yeah yeah of course i mean i think i started learning that on the job where i was like okay this is looking so stunning in the picture and one more thing you know sometimes something that looks brilliant in a picture uh that you see or like in a look book mm-hmm. when it comes to you and you feel it and you see the fabric and you see it in person yeah. it's not that nice and and sometimes the other way around as well where you see something in a picture and you're just like you know it's not that nice yeah. but in person it may look stunning on the person i feel like you can't tell these things till the time you actually see them in person and try them in person it's very important to do that like so many times when we send out pictures i am quite anxious because i'm just like with pictures you can never really tell of course you have a basic uh understanding of things but it's always nice to try out different things and play dress up and Yeah. and do that yeah yeah so basically everything that looks good on instagram is not really not that real life yeah but it can happen yeah. which is why it's really important to try it physically and then take a call and looking forward to many more great looks from you thank you for doing this thank you so much for having me subscribe to midday india get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon 